This question comes from Michael, who asks, what's the longest possible sunset you can experience while driving, assuming you're obeying the speed limit and driving on paved roads? To start, we have to define what we mean by sunset. For the purpose of our question, sunset starts the instant the sun touches the horizon and ends when it disappears completely, which means that for us, this is not a sunset. This is also not a sunset. This is definitely not a sunset. And no matter what happens here, this will not be a sunset. If the sun touches the horizon and then it lifts back up, the sunset is disqualified. For a sunset to count, the sun also can't just disappear behind a nearby hill. It needs to set behind the idealized horizon. Otherwise, if you could use arbitrary obstacles like that, you could cause a sunset whenever you wanted just by hiding behind a rock. At the equator, an average sunset is just over two minutes long. In places like London, England, it can take between three and five minutes. At London's latitude, the Earth's surface is moving from west to east at about 1,000 kilometers per hour. So if you fly west in a commercial airliner, you can experience an arbitrarily long sunset. Or at least, you can until you run out of fuel 15 or 20 hours in. But Michael's question was about driving to extend the sunset. Intuitively, it seems like we probably want to be as far north, or maybe south, as possible. The closer we are to the pole, the easier it is to keep up with the sun. Unfortunately, there are no paved roads anywhere near either pole. The closest road that qualifies is probably in Longyearbyen on the island of Svalbard, Norway. The longest sunset there lasts just under an hour. Although, it doesn't matter if you drive west, because the road's too short for your movement to make much difference. In general, driving west to keep up with the sun isn't a viable strategy. Even at the northernmost tip of mainland Norway, you'd have to travel at about half the speed of sound to keep up with the sun. Luckily, there's a better approach. If you're in northern Scandinavia on a day when the sun just barely sets and then rises again, the day-night line moves northwest, then slows, reverses, and heads back to the southwest. To get a long sunset, the strategy is simple. Sit in your car until the sun first touches the horizon, which means the day-night line is about to pass you. Then drive north to stay a little ahead of the line as long as you can, which will keep the sun in the process of setting. Then you turn and drive south across the line into nighttime. I ran a search for long sunset driving paths using some Pi FM code and GPS traces of Norwegian highways, and I found that the strategy works about equally well anywhere inside the Arctic Circle. Over a wide range of routes and driving speeds, the longest sunset I could come up with was consistently about 95 minutes, which is about 40 minutes longer than the longest sunset you can get in Longyearbyen. But if you are stuck on Svalbard and you want to make the sunset or sunrise last a little longer, you can always try spinning counterclockwise so your angular momentum slows the Earth's rotation. It's true that it will only add an imperceptibly small fraction of a nanosecond, but it might be worth it.